Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I am Anne, you're on Scent Solutions. We talk all about perfumes here, so if that's your jam, you definitely landed on the right channel. To my returning subscribers, I really appreciate you. Thank you for sticking with me. And if you're new on here, welcome on board. If you haven't subscribed and you love what we do here, don't hesitate to click the subscribe button. And please, guys, click the notification bell. I noticed a number of you don't receive notifications on my videos so click it so you know when i post a new video and let's get into today's business so today we're talking orange blossom perfume so really just perfumes with an orange blossom note and i have about 10 of them i'm going to be talking about today orange blossom used in different ways to be honest i mean orange blossom is really versatile until I started doing some research into it, I didn't know it was that widely used in a lot of perfumes. It has this sweetish, greenish scent, you know, somewhat reminiscent of, would I say, the leaves of an orange plant. So I really enjoy orange blossom. I, I totally love it. I feel like when it's used right, it can really give a perfume character. So let's go right in. I've already talked for one minute, 26 seconds. Okay, so let's start with uh, this one. So this is a perfume that I wasn't expecting to like, and then all of a sudden, I love it. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier's classic pinup. And I mean, just let's take a second to admire this bottle. It gives you cabaret vibes, doesn't it? Anyway, so classic pinup is a scent that's Sparkles. That's about the only way I can describe this scent. The orange blossom in here is like fizzy, like champagne, mixed with the spiciness of ginger, the comfort of vanilla. It's like a glamorous party in a bottle. Very fun, very flirty, you know, gives you a peek and then goes back in. It is so, so flirty but this is the kind of flirtiness or the kind of scent that i would have associated with flirtiness back in the day maybe 70s 80s like it has that vibe it's not a very modern scent profile but i thoroughly enjoy this because i'm somebody who loves scent profiles from various generations i really don't care what the generation is i can enjoy my perfume regardless so jean-paul gautier classic pinup is for me that spicy, zesty, bubbly orange blossom. All right, next up, we have an oldie, but a goodie and a baddie. This is black opium. Guys, yes, I know black opium gets flack for being basic, for being common. Guys, I can't stop enjoying my black opium. I will never stop enjoying this perfume. I think that black opium is very edgy and exciting. Just imagine walking through a vibrant street at night or a vibrant city at night with the air filled with excitement, you know, people going for parties, people queuing up to enter a club. That's kind of the vibe that this gives me. And the orange blossom in here adds a touch of floral brightness to some darker notes like coffee and then you have the sweetness of the vanilla that makes this just really really addictive and then you have pear also for added sweetness the pink pepper for spice so the orange blossom really has a lot of great accompaniments in here that allow it just do its work of adding a touch of elegance to all these otherwise very interesting notes so say what you want about it but orange blossom used very well in this perfume all right next up we have ooh, this gorgeous bottle of ellie sab's girl of now please don't mind my cap i know some people get triggered by the fingerprints unfortunately i couldn't get to clean it before filming but forgive me this is ellie sab's girl of now guys this is like walking through a sudden i think it's the bottle this teal is this teal yeah this greenness gives me the visual of like brunch in a garden that's what this gives me and the orange blossom in girl of now is very joyful that's how i'll describe it. it's bright and it's joyful and it's very indulgent it's like orange blossom dancing alongside 
sweet almond and then a creamy swirl of pistachio it's just that kind of cheerful fragrance for a spring day that's what i see this as is elisab girl of now a perfect rendition of orange blossom all right guys we're keeping at it keeping at it keeping at it so next up we have this one from bdk perfumes and this is Passissoire. So I used to see this perfume a lot on YouTube. I'd heard a lot of people talk about it. I was a bit late to the party, but guys, look at where, look at how much of this perfume I've used in how many months? It's barely eight months of having this perfume. And I enjoyed every moment of this perfume. BDK's Passissoire is the scent of I would say an adventurous evening. You know those kinds of evenings when you want to be daring, but you still want to maintain class. That's what this is. So the orange blossom here is a little bit rebellious. There's a spiciness of the ginger that kind of gives it a kick. And then there's the sweet queens as well that adds that indulgent, very addictive sweetness. And then you have some cashmere for that luxurious sensation and patchouli for depth. So when you feel bold, you're feeling unstoppable, but you want to also have a little bit of mystery to you, very feminine, this is for you. This is orange blossom, slightly muted with some hints of spiciness so that they don't see you coming. <laughs> so that's BDK Passissoire. Okay, so this one, I don't hear too many people talk about this perfume. I just recently started to talk about it on my channel. This is Vanille Noir, and it's from Yves Rocher. I like this. I like this. This is orange blossom and vanilla, and it's so comforting. Now, it's like very soothing and soft orange blossom, but then it's nestled in between some rich vanilla, some sandalwood, some mimosa, just like wrapping yourself in a cozy blanket on a chilly winter evening. That's how I'll describe this one. Very good use of orange blossom and vanilla, I must say. I really, really find this to be really addictive. All right, guys, we have classic Amarige by Givenchy. This perfume, yes, it may not be your jam if you don't like perfumes with um, older, more mature scent profiles. But for me, this is a very mature use of orange blossom in a perfume. This exudes sophistication, in my opinion. Do you know what I think about when I see this perfume or when I wear this? I remember Dallas Dynasty. You know those soaps? In the 80s, 70s, you know, those very classy um, 80s women with their coiffed hair. Guys, oh, imagination. <laughs> if you're Nigerian, you understand what I'm saying. But yeah, guys, this is so beautiful. I love it. I know it's not for everyone, but I do. I like perfumes that take me back a few years, make me remember my childhood, make me remember the way my mom smelled when I was much younger. I love it. Anyways, Amarage is classic beauty. Here, the orange blossom, like I said, is very elegant. It's very refined. This is another one with orange blossom and mimosa. So there's a touch of sweet tubers in there as well. There's some elang, and it's all sitting on this very musky, woody vanilla base. And I love it. It's a whole lot of notes. Orange blossom is just one of many, but this is a good use of orange blossom. All right, next up, I have another one from Elisab. Yes, let's talk about this. This is Elisab Le Parfum. Interestingly, even though this is a newer perfume to Amarish, it kind of gives me a similar vibe. Like they could have been perfumes uh, created in the same era, if you get what I mean. So Elisab Le Parfum is for me a burst of sophistication in a bottle. I find this to be really empowering, really sophisticated. I envision this on somebody going for a power meeting where you don't want people to take you for granted. You don't have time to laugh. You have some very high profile 
high stake corporate decisions to make, but you want to smell good while doing it. That's this perfume for you. The orange blossom hair is radiant, is very luminous, is paired with like a slight honey sweetness. So it's not too serious because orange blossom will go wherever you take it. In here, it's supposed to be serious. And so they've toned it down a bit with honey so that you don't forget that you're feminine. Yeah. And then, you know, I just really love it. There's some patchouli in here as well. A little bit of a mature rose, even though the rose doesn't shine through too much. I love this perfume. I think it's super, super confidence boosting and I love it. Okay, next up we have, now these two I'm going to talk about, they are not the originals of these perfumes. They are dupes, but they give you, I would say up to 80% of the scent of the perfumes I'm talking about. You get what I mean? So this is a rendition of MFK's Apom Femme. That's a very clean orange blossom, very minimalist perfume. It's for that clean aesthetic, if you may. It's like a soft whisper of elegance. That's how I'll describe this. So the orange blossom in here is gentle. And then it has that warm Virginia setter. It has a little bit of a tender elang that gives it some femininity. It's a scent that is very captivating but subtle. That's the way I'll describe it. You know, it's somewhat reminiscent of somebody keeping a beautiful secret that you have concealed very well. And then you just begin to delayer and delayer and people discover more and more of you. That's how I felt about this perfume. When you first spray, you're like, oh yeah, whatever, just a clean scent, whatever. But by the time it starts to unfold, you, you gradually start to see the beauty, especially in the way the orange blossom is used in here. It's very captivating. I feel like it's unisex, so to be honest, anyone can use it. It has a slightly soapy edge to it, so if you don't like soapy perfumes, it might not be for you, but very great use, um, minimalistic use of orange blossom, in my opinion, obviously. All right, next up is another one that is a dupe, uh, but, oh, sorry, I, I didn't say the name of this. This one is uh, Barakat Apom Orange, and it's a dupe for MFK's Apom Femme, and they smell very similar. Next up, I have one perfume that, ah, uh, what do you think when you see this? You think Oriana by Perfumes de Mali. That's what this is duping. It's called Reina Pour Femme. It's more popular amongst like Middle Eastern fragrance enthusiasts. And I think that it's a great, great, great rendition of that uh, perfume. Now, this is really luxurious. That's how I'll describe this perfume. I've always felt Oriana was a luxurious perfume. Like what a luxurious perfume should smell like. So Oriana gives you sweet, it gives you soapy, it gives you elegant, it's very rich, it's very sumptuous, it's really fluffy. This is what you mean when you say a fluffy perfume, like you literally can feel <laughs> the fluff. Oh, I can, maybe you can't, but I can. And it's enveloped in this creamy blend of marshmallow whipped cream. It's like indulging in a decadent dessert, you know, and it's all on a musky base. So yeah, it's not, um, it's not, it doesn't smell so much like food. You're going to get that fluffiness. You're going to get that creamy thing, but it's all on a musky base. So it reminds you that you're still wearing perfume. So, uh, guys, I think, oh no, I have one more. Sorry. thought I was done, but I'm not. Okay, yes, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I love this perfume. I This was one of the first perfumes I reviewed on my channel, if I remember correctly, so I am emotionally attached. Forgive me. No one really talks about it anymore, but it's in my collection. Why not? This is, I mean, look at the, the design. It's bold. It's designed to be bold in your face. I am here. I'm confident. Listen to me. That's what this perfume is about. The orange perfume or orange blossom in here is wrapped in layers of almond, coffee, cacao, tonka, so you can see how rich and thick. And then it's sweetened with praline. So this is a very thick, edgy, overall seductive 
seductive perfume. It is a fragrance that makes a statement. It is strong. It is bold. It's empowering. Carolina Herrera. And that is a bold and very empowering use of orange blossom in a perfume. So there you have it, guys. My top picks in terms of perfumes with an orange blossom note. Let me know what other options you have that, you know, when it comes to orange blossom perfumes, just talk to me in the comments, suggest perfumes with orange blossom that I can go try my nose on. Until I see you on another video, please enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye guys.